So Merry Christmas everyone, Retro Man here, and today I'll be reviewing episode 6 of Tulsa King. Stay tuned for more. Coming to you from a basement studio somewhere down under, it's the 80s show with Australia's Retro Man. On tonight's show, Retro Man reviews episode 6 of Tulsa King. Well, what are we waiting for? Lights, camera, Retro Man. G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the 80s show. Merry Christmas to all of you and today I will be reviewing episode 6 of Tulsa King called Stable. Yes guys, we've just passed the halfway mark and things are heating up. There's a lot of plot developments in this one and I'm sure there'll be some payoffs in the latter episodes. Anyway guys, this episode kicks off with the aftermath of Stallone actually taking care of Nico. Remember that frightening scene where he kills Nico? Well, he actually has to go and tell his daughter that he disposed of Nico. It's very emotional, but he feels he needs to be forthright and tell her that he took care of business. Now, the Mafia family, of course, are not happy about this. They want retribution, but the older Mafia guy, the head of the family, he's kind of on Dwight's side, and he doesn't want anything to transpire, so he kind of tries to cool it, but they have other ideas. So they're lurking in the background. Meanwhile, Dwight's trying to make his way back to Tulsa, and what's going on in Tulsa is that the feds are on Dwight's trail. I mean, they found out about Dwight's run-in with the McAdams biker gang, and they're really trying to work out what's going on with Dwight, and they're watching his every movements. So yes, the feds are doing some investigative work of their own, and they're trying to get Stacy in on this, but Stacy has feelings for Dwight, of course. So she's kind of trying to take the heat off Dwight and try to push things aside and uh, move the feds into a different direction. So it'll be interesting to see how that transpires. And of course, later on in the episode, we do get a little moment between Stallone and Stacy. And uh, Stallone gets the vibe that, do you really want me out of this town? I think you want me to stay here because you still like me. So that's that's a little interesting romantic tidbit on the side. So it's an exciting episode in that there's a lot of little intricate plot developments taking place. And a couple more things that I will share is basically Stallone comes head to head with the leader of the McAdams gang. He just comes face to face with the guy and he tells him what he wants and the McAdams guy tries to tell him what he wants and then Stallone basically shuts him down and walks. So they've had a confrontation now, a meeting, and uh, things are either going to cool or they're going to boil. And actually we find out at the end of the episode that things have reached boiling point because Stallone goes to the bar he usually goes to and uh, he's talking to Mitch there, the bar owner, and he says, well look, maybe we could develop a partnership with this bar. And Mitch is like, let me think about it. And then <laughs> at the end of the episode, Basically, one of the McAdams biker guys turns up like an assassin and tries to take Dwight out. I mean, he's shooting holes into the bar and uh, basically Dwight and Mitch take care of business and Mitch kind of looks over at Dwight and says, well, hey, maybe uh, we can become partners. So uh, now Dwight's in on the bar as well. So he's kind of uh, adjusting his business handlings in this episode. And of course, another thing that I'll mention is that white horse that kind of trots into town. Well, uh, it has a mind of its own. It's going a little bit senile and uh, the owners want to do away with the horse. But Dwight being that stand-up guy that he is, he kind of saves the horse's life. So uh, that's a nice little cap on this episode. So as I said at the start of the episode, the Mafia guys in New York still have designs on Dwight. They're trying to work out what to do. And right at the end of the episode, Chicky actually attacks, brutally attacks Dwight's son-in-law. 
So uh, I don't know what's going to happen here, guys, but it's quite a startling little scene. They're thrown in at the end, and uh, it should be exciting to find out what is going to prevail. So uh, let's talk about that next time. And I must say that uh, I'm looking forward to episode seven. So I'm sure there are going to be a lot of payoffs and uh, it's going to be exciting stuff, guys. So tell me, are you enjoying Tulsa King? I think it's a fantastic series with Sylvester Stallone. And uh, hey, guys, enjoy yourself over the Christmas period. But remember, stay safe. Anyway, guys, this is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and just as tough as Stallone in Tulsa King. Please subscribe and good night, viewers.